The Philadelphia Eagles have their sights set on a first round bye and the NFC East crown. But if you're anything like me, those draft picks are burning a hole in your pocket. We are lucky in the sense that we don't have any huge glaring needs, but we definitely could use this draft to retool at some areas like edge rusher, D tackle, safety, and heck, even our O-line. But Today, I want to talk about cornerbacks. Now, I know the hot name is Kaylee Ringo out of Georgia, and for good reason. The kid absolutely balls out. However, when diving into the cornerback prospects, my eyes pop open at the amount of real prospects. So today, I want to give you five cornerbacks not named Kaylee Ringo at the Eagles should draft. Come on, Philly food. Let's do it. What's going on, you guys? This is your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresco, and this is Philly Philly, the podcast. So today we are going to talk about five cornerbacks not named Kaylee Ringo. Now, before we get into that, be sure to smack that like button and subscribe. We are on the road to 5K, and we would love for you guys to join that ride. So let's do it. First off, we're going to talk about Kaylee Ringo real quick. He's the favorite of most analysts and fans. The unique combination of size, speed, and technique is very hard to find, and people are enamored in what Kaylee can become in the league. And I am too, but there's three reasons why I don't want the Eagles to get too stuck on Ringo. Look, if we can get him, awesome. But number one, the Eagles pick at number 10, and as of now, it doesn't even look like he'll be available. Many guys got him going in the top five, top six, so I don't want to spend all of it or put all our eggs in that one basket just to realize we're not even going to have a chance at getting him uh number two his main strength is man coverage and and bluntly if we're going to stay with jonathan gannon we just don't play enough man so uh, it worries me that his best attribute is something that we tend to shy away from as a defense now lastly number three i think a couple of guys on this list may make far more sense We're going to start at number five. Emmanuel Forbes from Mississippi State listed at six foot, 180 pounds. Forbes is a big time playmaker, evidenced by his 14 interceptions throughout his college career. And I think he got like six touchdowns as well. Forbes is a lengthy, lean body type with decent speed. uh, Past season, allowing opposing quarterbacks a meager 42.8 rating uh, against him. It's clear Emmanuel can lock up his assignments. Some negatives about Forbes do include run support. He's not a horrible tackler, but he offers almost nothing as a downhill run stopper. He allows the runner to come to him instead of initiating contact. If he can add some weight and maybe some strength, play strength especially, Emmanuel may be the perfect day to pick up for the Eagles. So that's number five. I like him. Not as much as I like number four. Next, we have number four, Eli Ricks of Alabama. One of the consistent traits you'll see with all these top guys are height, weight, and speed and at 6'2", 195, Eli checks all those boxes off. While Ricks doesn't have the elite top end speed, he has quick enough feet and very solid technique which allows him to keep most plays in front of him. He makes good plays on the ball and is overall a kind of by the book player. He's rarely too aggressive leaving wide open receivers but this also hurts him in run support as he doesn't seem that willing to crash the line of scrimmage. It will be interesting to to see how he does against faster twitchy slot wide receivers but on the outside Eli is honestly an asset and if Philly wanted to use their last first round pick on a guy like Eli I wouldn't be too mad about that now number three is going to be Cam Smith of South Carolina Listed at six foot, even 216 pounds, Cam is a smack talking press coverage beast. Right now, Cam would thrive in a man press scheme where he can put his lengthy arms on the receiver and just dictate what's going to happen at the line of scrimmage. I've rarely, if ever, seen him gotten beat at the line of scrimmage. This play strength also shows itself at the catch point. Smith will fight through receivers to break up passes and jump balls usually favor the lengthy cornerback. He's a hard hitter and can set the edge on run defense, 
but doesn't really wrap up and he will whiff at times when he gets a little bit too aggressive. His technique could use some work as he oftentimes plays flat footed and turns his hips far too early in most routes, which does leave him susceptible to the double moves. And I know every Eagles fan just cringed when I said double moves, but if an NFL team works on his footwork and technique, they could be getting a perennial pro bowler. Uh, teams may also be smart to kind of see what he might be able to do at safety when you look at the size and the weight it kind of makes sense at that position but we'll see what happens now the last two i honestly have a very similar grade on both and these are very pre preliminary i haven't been able to really watch every single game that i want to of all these kids uh but after a couple of days that i feel like you know feel good about what i'm saying this is kind of my like i said preliminary uh, uh grades on these guys and we'll start with joey porter jr He's the son of former NFL linebacker Joey Porter, the 6'2", 192-pound Penn State product. Look at all those P's in that. It's very intriguing. As a Penn State fan myself, I often find myself going back and forth on what Joey can be at the next level. Truth is, he can be great. While his technique could use some refining, especially when coming in and out of breaks, as it seems hard for him to decelerate quickly and sometimes can overrun plays. But besides that, you're getting a smart player, athletic player. Joey rarely finds himself out of position in the passing game, and he won't ever overreact. And normally sticks to his assignment, quick feet, twitchy hips. It allows Porter for, to smoothly open his hips and change direction in his back pedal. However, at times he does find himself a little unbalanced when he's switching his hips. His speed makes him a problem in pursuit and will set the edge in the run game. Once he understands a bit more of his technique and doesn't rely solely on his natural talent, I think any NFL team would be getting an absolute gem. I've seen him go as high as the top 15 and as low as the bottom of the first. Look, I'd love to keep Joey in Philly, and I'd love to keep him in PA. Giving him a year or so with a guy like Darius Slay could honestly do wonders for him. Now, the last guy I want to talk about is probably my favorite just pure corner in the draft right now. At 6'2", 201 pounds, Christian Gonzalez of Oregon is an absolute baller. His father played semi-pro ball. His two older sisters, both are track stars. Christian just has athleticism just dri dripping through his veins right now. And he showed over the past three years he can truly do it all. He's boasting a 42-inch vertical, 325-pound power cling, and he hit 23.3 miles per hour on the gps per bruce feldman of the athletic now for reference the fastest time clocked in the nfl since 2017 when they started you know actually using that uh stat was raheem mostert which eagles fans know him but he was with the san francisco 49ers at time he hit 23.09 Gonzalez is fast, so he brings strength, elite speed, and surprising fluidity with his technique. Now, he, his technique isn't perfect. He sometimes seems to panic when he's beaten, which leads to obviously pan penalties and blown coverage, but those times are rare. Christian Gonzalez can honestly excel in both man and zone schemes. He will need to be coached up a bit, as I said, with his technique, but that's to be expected of any prospect. The one thing I'm sure will be discussed as a downfall for him is that he's only played cornerback full time for three years. He's still very raw, but maybe I'm crazy for saying this, but I'd probably take him over Kaylee Ringo right now. So there you have it. My top five cornerbacks not named Kaylee Ringo. Did I miss anyone? Let me know in the comments. But other than that. Y'all know what it is, man. It is Fly Goes Fly, and we are out of here. Peace! Eagles fans everywhere, this is for Yo, you! Fly Goes Fly, I'm going to the team. Touchdown, touchdown, time to get Jalen this ring. You don't really want to start a thing. This a bird game nation, baby. It's a Philly thing. Hater, and you looking like you type trash. I'm just here calling on Philly, Philly, the podcast. And we can call a man dog, or watch my score off the hand dog. Rest of the division, your man saw Jackson like Sean, hunting like Randall. Season head, early time to do a minute. Your boy Philly Fresco, thanks for tuning in.